Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for the 21st to the 27th of October. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and by the advice on Facebook. This reading is very very difficult because there's so many options and it is a general reading. But the, I'll tell you what comes out of this. Uh, this is already the fourth time I've done it. So that, um, and it is quite difficult to interpret because the interpret because there are three scenarios here so far as I've already got. Um, and one of it is it could be about a relationship. It could be about business. If you are a lady, you are more masculine. Your masculine side could be coming up, and it could also be related to the past when you were children your parents couldn't cope um, with uh, the children because they were affecting the romance it was too busy and too hectic the children and um, also because we've got the children some you might be longing for the past remembering the past from when you were a child so and there was jealousy there's jealousy but one of the parents protected you through thick and thin that is another scenario and that's why this reading is so difficult. I will try to do this again for the fifth time and see. So, you know, it could be for some of you, it could be something from the past is coming back or that you're longing for the past. Okay? It could be also a man that's coming back from the past. Um, or an, a, a question, an issue with children perhaps getting pregnant okay well let's get started and remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then please go to your moon sign or your rising sign first of all we've got um, the compass the compass means that you are on the right road and that you are listening to your intuition your gut feeling but you find it very difficult to believe perhaps that you are on the right road because nothing is perhaps moving something is stagnant or um, yeah you can't see it because you are too much in your head okay and you can your hands are free so you can free yourself because the ropes aren't tied and take the blindfold off to make that decision whether you want to remain on the path that you are on now or that you would like to change it so take that blindfold off and then you can see in front of you and then you can make a decision or a choice what to do in midweek we've got the sun and the sun is um, positivity a birth finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then it's forewarned for aunts so take the uh, precautions if you don't want to get pregnant new beginnings going on holiday moving home uh, a promotion a new job and underneath that we've got the empress confirming that uh, there will be most probably a pregnancy or a birth or a promotion and a new beginning as she stands for those things as well except um, the holiday thing okay but you might also be uh, in the spotlight and that's uh, people are seeing you recognize you as a mother figure a beautiful person a nurturing person okay um, it, the, it's also illuminated that a lot of you could find out that you're pregnant or that you are becoming grandmother or hearing of a birth at the end of the week you've got the bear the bear means um, luck the bear also means that somebody could be jealous of you so somebody could be jealous of you being pregnant okay um, somebody might be jealous because you might be getting that promotion or that job that they wanted and you can stand your ground very well in some cases you might have to um, you might have uh, something to do with municipalities or institutions like schools hospitals you will have to go to hospital to, uh, to get the ultrasound if you're pregnant you might have to go to school with regards to children children are an issue here 
okay and it's very strong strongly projected the children are uh, close number six the six of cups is close to the sun and close to the empress and so children are significant this week for most of you it could be somebody from your childhood coming back as well and bringing you a present or news perhaps they might have been jealous when you were children and uh, you didn't notice that or you did and you broke the friendship and now they're coming back and perhaps you might be going back to them seeing somebody from the past okay and then we have the mice you you could have lost this friendship do you see that because mice uh, officially mean loss or somebody has stolen something perhaps somebody has stolen something uh, perhaps your heart when you were younger in a teenager perhaps um, or st stolen your friend at kindergarten who knows uh, when we are children we do uh, make friendships and then we think oh this is a friendship for life and we are sometimes jealous when we, we we are children because if somebody is better off than us then we would like to have that barbie too and not the barbie that costs only four euros let's say uh, that's just a hypothetical example okay so you might have lost something when you were a child and you might be finding it back now sorry about that um, something is gnawing, gnawing at you about the past perhaps or about this jealous person okay you might be very very busy and stressed out too much in your head so something might be gnawing at you okay so um, you might be very busy with moving home perhaps making a new start okay ask people for help many hands make light work okay you might actually be moving in with a man because that's the overall energy from the Lenormand. He's waiting for love, so he might have asked you to move in with him. This could be the move, okay? And um, you have you are standing in your power at the weekend because you've got you've got the magician card, number one, a new beginning again, boom, 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 new beginnings. You are standing in your power, you're taking control. You are asking for help from other people to move, perhaps help you move, to move in with this man, the love of your life, and you didn't see it coming. Whoops! And you might be getting married, but at the moment you might feel out of sorts. Um, you might feel left out from family or friends because you're moving away. Don't worry, this is short-lived. Once you um, are settled down um, then you can and you have time uh, because you're with him then you might will be go you might be going back to see your family and friends and then they will see that um, you are happy you are protected by the universe and the angels okay because we've got the church window here and don't be afraid to ask for help don't let things gnaw at you. Try to delegate a little bit more. You can do it. You don't um, have to be blind to the situation. If you get out of your head and take that blindfold off, then you can see where you're going, where, where you're going to. Okay? You can make those decisions just like a mother can and delegate help. So let go of jealousy. Let go of of being in your head create your freedom and be more playful like many again lots of little angels cupids are playing with this lady freedom okay if you've got more hands it makes a light work so let go don't want to be the boss all the time and do it yourself and if you are married or if you do have children then children could be um, affecting your life as you've got children from the romance of the angel your love life is being affected by children 
Yes, perhaps if you start a new relationship and you're moving in with somebody, perhaps the kids um, are an aspect um, to think about. Perhaps you might be a person from um, a separated uh, mother and father in the past. This could be affecting you as well, okay? Don't let your past affect you, your relationship now. Try to make that, uh, I mean, dare to make that step towards coming together and learn to le lean on each other, to be there through thick and thin for each other, okay? Your relationship is not the same as your parents. So take that magical step and make create that new beginning. Don't think about it, okay? Okay, now this is a beautiful card. And this is the card from the Surrender deck. And it says, Surrender to Drama. Yes, surrender to past drama, okay? No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the dream. Stay out of your head and focus on you. Okay. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Yes, stay centered on your move. Okay, your new beginnings. To be together with the one that's waiting for you it might not be a relationship it could also be a person that's offered you the job and it could have been a man okay don't take it literally it is the energy that is around you so let go of the past let go of childhood memories that do not serve you okay create your freedom and your new beginning don't feed the drama Ciao, ciao, and I hope you've enjoyed the reading. And please give me a thumbs up and share this family, a video with family and friends and see you in the live sessions. Bye-bye, cyber babes.